Here's how you make a eight directional player that moves in Godot 4. First, we're gonna have a simple tile map that just shows our background. And we're gonna have a character body 2D, a sprite. As you can see, we have a top-down sprite and the collision shape for it. First, we're gonna make a script for it. Uh, we're going to not have a template, I suppose. And our character body 2D will have, not, it's going to extend character body 2D. Next up, we're going to create a physics uh, process function. So physics process. Next up, we are going to have uh, three lines of code that is going to allow us to take in our input vector. So our input vector is going to basically have a, it's going to consist of a vector. So looking like this, zero, zero, maybe one, zero, zero, one, et cetera, et cetera. And this is going to basically tell us which direction we're going in, up, right, left, down, uh, or center. And if it's zero, zero, we're not moving. If it's zero, one, we're going to the right, et cetera, right? So input dot x, input vector dot x is going to be equal to input dot get action strength, UI right minus the UI left. Meaning if right, if we're clicking right, uh, the x will now be one. However, if we click a little, then it's going to be a zero minus one, meaning negative one. If, and then same thing for the down and up, right? So now we can have a various of different input vectors. Next up, we're going to normalize it. That way it doesn't uh, go in between, going like 0 0.9 or something like that. So now it's going to give us a bunch of different input vectors. So let's try printing this and see what we get. So if we play, and I click a bunch of things, it will now show me negative one, one, uh, negative one on that side, one, and if I go right, it'll give me that. But if I click up and and right at the same time, it'll give me a slightly different number and et cetera, right? So now I can kind of do that in that sense. All right, next up, we're going to basically just check if input vector is valid. If it is, then we can simply say, okay, velocity is going to be equal to input vector times speed. In this case, we'll just replace this with 300. And then for the new Godot 4, we no longer have any uh, parameters inside of move and slide. We just say move and slide because velocity is built in. And so now we can move. However, I, I'm not clicking. As you can see, it says 0, 0.0 and it's still moving. Why is that? Because interestingly enough, we now have to check if uh, input vector is zero. Um, for some reason, it will not multiply zero by 300 and it will just say us 300. So we now have to say velocity equals input vector, which will just be zero in this case because it is reset every time in our physics process. So now when we play, we go here and we can move around freely. And when I stop clicking, it'll stop moving. All right, there we go. That is how we make an eight directional character. And if you want to do four directional, that would be slightly different. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments down below. Um, and I have a discord down below in the comments uh, in the description. Um, definitely join that. I have a Patreon that you can check out as well. Um, I also have a Twitch that I stream on. I I'm going to try to stream on more regularly, so definitely check that out as well. So if you guys like this video, go follow uh, and subscribe and like the video down below. I'll see you guys next time.